so next is the alternate nostril breath. Walk us through that. This one takes a little bit of practice, but you take your right hand, you pull down your first finger and your middle finger, and then the um, thumb and the ring finger are gonna alternate between your right and, and left nostril, okay? If that's not comfortable for some people, you can place the first finger and the middle finger on the third eye, like in between your eyebrows. So either technique is fine. You're gonna take a nice breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Place your thumb on your right nostril, Exhale through the left, switch, ring finger goes on left, inhale through right, exhale through right, thumb goes on the right, inhale through left, voila, you've just done your first round of Naughty Showed Now. I would do a couple of rounds of these though, doctor. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to gonna have to practice that one a little bit, Don. <laughs> The coordination, but again, it feels great. It feels great. You're just focusing on your breathing, which is super cool. Yeah, for sure. And, and it really is a way to just um, deregulate and to calm down on you quite literally. And I would recommend too that you do this with a soft gaze or eyes closed is also another way to just sort of feel it in your body. All right, Don, the third technique is what you call skull shining breath. Interesting <laughs> name. What is this? Yeah, I, like I know. <laughs> Such a funny name. Uh, yeah, we call it Kabbalah Bhati because literally Kappa in Sanskrit means skull and Bhati means shining. It's also known as breath of fire. Some contraindications here, I wouldn't um, try this technique if you are pregnant or if you have glaucoma or any kind of respiratory, but otherwise completely safe and actually a lot of fun to do. Really good to do first thing in the morning, like if you feel like you need to wake up, which don't we all, or before you go for that coffee in the middle of the day or maybe a snack, try the Kapalabhati breathing. So this is a short, sharp exhale only through the nose. The inhale just comes back naturally, which is kind of cool. I would do it maybe 10 or 12 times and you're just pushing down onto the, you, it will happen naturally, but you're just, yeah, you can have your hands in front of you and you're just, I'll show you. Again, spine nice and straight, shoulders relaxed. Exhale, 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 and then just close your eyes and breathe normally, right? Breathe normally. You can do this for like two or three rounds, 10 or 12 breaths at a time, and you should start to feel energized because your the diaphragm is coming up and the air is coming up and out, up and out, up and out. How are you feeling? I love these. Listen, go on. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm loving it. I'm loving, you know, I'm a big proponent of yoga, as I said. You know, this, it reminds me of a lot of techniques that we use in psychiatry and psychology to help ground people and to help people relax. And, and again, that's what I'm feeling when I'm doing this. I'm feeling like I'm focusing on my breath. I'm not focusing on anything else, but great, great techniques. Right. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for showing us how to breathe, Don. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> thank you so much, doctors.